szary wilk. Odbiór. Kurde, chcę się nadejść, wziąłem. Okej. Okay. Squad. Obrzmiany się. Solange der sich nicht bewegt. Meine Fresse. Nicht unbedingt in ein Feuergefecht mit denen kommen. Okay. It's one of I know. God damn it. Ich äh, mal, ob ich mir dein Radio ausleihen kann. Wie war das klar? First aid kit.
Yes, just don't shoot anyone. Irgendwie... Ja, alles am weg oder was? Schlauch gelegt. Aber so kriege ich wohl keine Infos. Aber ich glaube, ich weiß, was ich für einen Fehler gemacht habe. Ich glaube, ich weiß, was ich für einen Fehler gemacht habe. Going dark. Hm. Ich will sie dann irgendwie dazu bekommen, dass sie sich bewegen. Zumindest war das der Plan, ne? Wieso hat der da überhaupt Wischen da drauf gehabt? Da ist der Kran. Also. Warte, hier war doch irgendwo die Plattform. Ah oh Gott, damit die müsste irgendwo links von mir sein. Oh, ich war die ganze Zeit gedruckt, oder wie? Ups. Ups. <lacht> War kurz fast vor denen gestanden. Muss ja dann wohl hier auf dem Hügel sein. Hoffen wir mal, dass hier keine weiteren Patrouillen sind.
Okay. Ja, das... Wieso bin ich da durchgegangen? Fluchtachsen. Also einfach ist es nicht. Ich muss dahin. Da ist eine Reihe von Kontrollen. Da ist eine Reihe von Kontrollen. Black. Einfach ist anders. Einfach ist anders. Holy shit. Da kannst du nicht eben mal kurz. Da musst du wirklich gucken, was du machst. Ich meine, Stuhl, Spucke und hinten rumgehen ist schon mein Style, aber wenn du dann 5 Kilometer laufen musst für eine Strecke von 500 Metern, äh Kann man dann schon irgendwie abkürzen haben. Ne? Ich glaube, links ist jetzt der Steinpit, wo wir vorhin äh, auf der linken Seite noch lang sind. Die rechte Seite ist natürlich taktisch gesehen besser. Also ich muss nur einmal die Musik senden, dann muss ich darauf achten, wer das sagt und dann muss ich den, ich vermute es war Delta Squad, aber... Hm. Oh, hätte ich mal vorher gespeichert, ne? So, da war irgendwo diese Aussichtsplattform mit den zwei Schützen. Ich kann auch mal kurz mal den Mund halten hier. Hey, Alarms are going off. Nothing to do with me. You sure you didn't get spotted? Okay, wait, I got a view from here. Definitely a lot of movement. Yeah, something's got them on edge. Stay on track. If it ain't us, it's more chaos we can use. Mm -hmm. Jack, you copy? That's not safe. I'm here. What you got? Not a lot. Though I'm close to our zone of interest. Great. Listen. There's gonna be at least a few LDF guys on guard there. You'll need to get creative. The Spectrum device has a signal library. And in that library, there's a signal. A message from a jumped up Bluebell Colonel. If we're lucky, we can deceive the sentries. Send them off fuck knows where. Station names haven't changed since the exercise. Grey Wolf's still in command and everyone else is using the standard NATO alphabet. That squad out there? We just gotta find out who they are. And how do we do that? Should be easy. Bring up the signal library screen. Okay, I'm there. Switch to the music you recorded. If you send that signal in the direction of the squad on the company frequency, they'll radio HQ and report interference. That means you'll get to hear their call sign. You can then check the library again, see if there's an address to match their ID. If there is, use it. Same as with the music. Once they respond, select that movement order I told you about and relay it to them. Just don't broadcast shit randomly. If they realize they're the subject of electronic deception, they'll go dark. Same with the entire combat net. It all goes down. And we want to keep them talking. Exactly. But, uh, keep in mind, to hear both speakers in a conversation, you may have to redirect the device, unless they're more or less aligned. You can only detect what you're pointing at. Is there anything else I need to know? Yeah, and it's important. 
when impersonating a station, be careful about your background trajectory. You really don't want anyone receiving sent messages. It'll give the game away. Just transmit the music, listen for a response, pose as Grey Wolf, contact them specifically, and issue our fake command. Fine, got it. Uh, what if I hit a rut? Then you can figure out how to make your own distraction. Okay, so... Certain specific have to switch their old radius console kind of uh, device to electronic technology. This works in patrolling squads and HQ marked device compass. Successful description requires awareness of the correct call sign and maybe leads to them. Cause radio silence. It's also important to consider the location and direction of involved parties. Okay, äh, ich soll gucken, dass die nicht HQ sind. So, das heißt, ich sende die Musik. Dann warte ich drauf, was die antworten oder sagen. Dann kann ich Delta schicken. Oder also kann ich das Squad schicken, wenn ich die Namen habe. Okay, eigentlich müsste ich jetzt die Signale bekommen. Was soll der Shit? Komm schon. Warte, vielleicht muss ich, während die... Während die gesendet... Delta, over. Okay, jetzt hätte ich das andere noch mal scannen müssen. Ah, wenn es nicht klappt. So, HQ to Delta. Oh, unsere Maschine ab. Es hat funktioniert. Man muss nur die Reihenfolge halten. Hm. Ja, man muss nur durchstehen. Hätte ich sie vorher allein, also wäre ich auf die andere Seite gegangen, hätte ich noch mithören können, was HQ sagt. Oder ich hätte hin und her, also nicht allein, aber ich hätte hin und her switchen können, um die Antwort zu hören. Vielleicht ganz cool gewesen. Hey, so, you near it yet? What's there? Red, come on, answer. Uh, sorry, no answers, the only questions. What? Knock it off with that mystic shit. Is it another one of those things? Yeah, they dug it up. Looks like they were doing tests on it or some kind of fumigation. Can you cut a piece of it off and take it with you? <laughs> you can fuck right off if you think I'm gonna touch it. Okay. Can you lift a laptop or something? Too risky. But once they see stuff missing, they'll be on us. Shit, wait. I got a USB stick on a keychain. Yeah, awesome. Access something. Copy paste desktop folders. And get them on it. Oh no. Really? There's a helo. I know. Bug out. I ain't kidding. Just another two seconds.
Uh, moment. Warum ist der down? Jack? Please tell me you didn't just take down that helicopter. I didn't take down the fucking helicopter. Did you see what happened? No, negative. Power surge. All the lights are out everywhere. Make like hell. North, head north. To the tree line. There's a ranger's camp ah. in the forest. North. Um, yeah, north. EMP. Our radios? They're filled for it. Keep moving. I'm gonna pop a flare. No, wait, you idiot. The LDF. You're gonna give away my position. Okay, also du kannst die das Radio das Funkgerät ist geschützt vor den Oh ja, so viel zu meinem Zielpunkt. War das die Flair? North. North. Um. Yeah. Ziemlich dicker EMP. Oh, ich sehe die Flair. Nice. Bisschen obvious, aber da war eine Flair. Da war eine Flair. Rauch. Warum ist da noch Rauch? Ist das der Rest von der Flair? Vielleicht. Wer weiß. Mal gucken. Wenn wir herausfinden. Wenn wir denn dann da sind. Realtime. Bisschen länger als so. Bisschen viermal so lang. Der Depp hat die Hütte angezündet. Äh. Oh, oh, oh. So we're torching the place now. Oh, that's a great idea, Jack. Start a fire. Let's kick back, roast some fucking marshmallows. It ain't my fault. Maybe we can help it spread, huh? Burn the whole goddamn world, yeah? Hey, it ain't my fault. Flair came down on the roof. Not your fault? Not your fault? How's this anything but your fault? Oh, if the price of stupid goes up five bucks a barrel, I'm drilling a hole in your head first, pal. Hey, asshole. Don't go shooting off fancy fighting words and break out the brass necks and back them up. Ah, uh, yo! Ich will mal behaupten, darauf schießen hilft nicht. Ähm, sind wir nicht leichter als ein Auto, selbst wenn es verreckt ist? Ähm, na ja, so viel dazu. Ich mach noch nicht mal Löcher irgendwo rein. Yay! Ah, oh, guck mal, wir haben doch eine Audi. Hm. Dicke Hintern ist das, also Ding. Ah. Close Encounters. Aliens. <laughs> Fucking Aliens! I never... Never believes this could. Oh my god. Oh my god, bruh. Hey, hey, you know? Yeah? Shit the fuck. You guys saw it? The hell it looked like? <laughs> it was a big? Bright? Sort of squid like. Smooth. Metallic. Holy fucking shit. Hey, is that a dildo? Just rising off the ground. Floating. Are you see it? No, we lost power. Bunch of us left Conrad. I was driving and, uh, damn, yeah, damn, uh, Colonel Richter's dead. What? His helmet crashed. Jesus. You know who's in charge, Dill? Here? Uh, the Don. He's bringing arrivals up to speed. 
Oh, fuck me. You guys, you gotta go. Get the G2. Hold space to advance. Uh. Ah, whatever. Briefing haben wir das erste Mal. Nein, hier nicht. Hm. Oh, warte, Briefing draußen. Ah, cool. Hat jemand ein Knicklicht angemacht? Der Laptop läuft noch, hey! Alright, listen up. I got good news, bad news, and the biggest news of human history. If any of you doubt that, just take a look at Corporal Stipe. That is not the face of someone who hasn't just stepped off the magical fucking mystery tour. No. This gentleman is a first contact scenario. With what, sir? Intelligent life, Private. And I don't mean the sort you find every time you cross the state line. About one hour ago, an alien flying object entered Livonian airspace and came to a standstill above the old factory. There was some advance warning, but due to logistics chaos, nothing reached us in time, and what did, we didn't understand. Contrary to whatever you might have heard, there's no playbook for this sort of situation. And to make matters worse, there's been a, uh, what do you call it? Transitory high-power microwave pulse. A transitory high-power microwave pulse. HPM, not EMP. For us, that's the same difference. Electronics are foobar. If it wasn't in a shipping container or Faraday, you can bet your ass it's cooked. That goes for nods, gun lights, non-tritium optics, and most of our vehicles. Old with diesel, yes. Gasoline, no. Also, pacemakers. Hence the reason I'm talking to you now and not the colonel. I only oh. you so far, ah. but a problematic one. He overturned on the road, blocking access to Point Hopi. The Sparkies there have functioning equipment, which is slowly coming in, but it might be some time before we can un- Fuck this mess. Sir, are aliens responsible for the HPM? Is this an invasion? That's unknown, Sergeant. Our trunk network's down. There is no way we can reach UCOM. To the world, we've just gone dark. Yet it appears it's not worldwide, not even nationwide. A forest ranger drove in from Stokovsko. His off-road's fine, and he was less than an hour away. Now, I appreciate you all want some answers. Doctor, if you would. Good evening, lads. I'm Dr. Ian Kessing, a theoretical physicist and professor at Maxwell University, Edinburgh. With me is Dr. Shimon Chapek, whose bloody t-shirt says it all. So anyway, let me cut to the chase. Eight days ago, I was approached in a bizarre manner by the International Space Agency, Astra. They asked me to travel to Livonia. TS clearance, a short stay in Bosch and out. No question. I figured they wanted me to investigate your training disaster. I wasn't wrong. But they also wanted my scientific assessment of an object spotted in a sinkhole that collapsed after the accident occurred. It was the root cap of a much larger subterranean structure. The tip of something that has been growing for millions of years. And though it's older than mankind, Earth is not its home. I can only imagine our interplanetary guests have arrived because of that discovery. And let me add, the Livonians didn't want this going public. The toxic vapors story was just a cover. A necessary lie to ensure biosecurity. Obviously, that's no longer going to stick. Our research center at the factory, it's been abandoned. Everybody scattered once we realized what was coming. Needless to say, we'd only a wee bit of time to prepare. None of us really expected such a attention. Put simply, we're on the back foot. Recon's our next objective. Lieutenant Kingsley and a small team are moving towards the factory as I speak. They have a mini UGV with them, courtesy of Dr. Chopek. Luckily, it was stored underground, in a testing range, which means it should still be operational. Specialist Rudwell. Sir. Try and connect using the laptop on that desk there. Okay. Oh shit, I'm going to get 